Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. As you can see from the title, today's video is a follow-up to my previous vlog about building my new PC and giving Ali my old PC. We also, you know, got a chair. Um, but yeah, today I'm just going to be showing off the new PC's capabilities, also kind of testing them in a way. Um, I've already played most of the games that I've played today to see, you know, what they were, you know, what this new PC was capable of and if I could play those games at the absolute max. Um, however, I have not done that while recording yet, so that is basically what today's video is going to be. I figured I got to test to see if, you know, I can record with my camera, with, you know, the desktop while playing a game and still be able to get it all at, at least 60 FPS. So that is what we're hoping for and that's what we're going to do today. So I hope you guys enjoy. Well, let's jump right on into it. So here we are in ATS. Um, I have made what on my previous computer was pretty much the most demanding setup I could have um, on my previous PC I was at I'd say in between high and ultra on the graphics settings um, and with this truck and trailer which the truck is HFG's project 3xx love this truck and my trailer one of my modded trailers um, that D3D um, made and I put in game um, those two together whenever I as you can see I've got lots of LEDs on both of these um, lots of LEDs which speaking of which the ones on the back of this trailer that are up the ladders those are going to be in the next update those are actually not available to the public yet and I hadn't been working on the update because of the fact that on my old PC it couldn't handle the, the trailer <laughs> literally the own my own trailer that I made my computer couldn't handle it um, and whenever I would use the blinkers, it would literally drop to like 20 FPS, um, and it was just an absolute mess. However, now, as you can see, I am using my blinkers, and in that bottom left corner, I'm still getting 90 FPS. It, it fluctuates a little bit. Um, I dropped down to like 70 at one point, but much better than dropping to like 20. Um, so, uh... I mean that's that's pretty solid I literally have every single setting the max that it can go including scaling literally everything I, I will I'll go into the pause menu and show you that I have every single graphic setting at the max that it can possibly be so 1920 uh, v-sync I obviously don't have that on because I that causes your FPS to get stuck like right at 60 uh, 400% ultra, you know, the ones that are on high don't have an ultra option. Reflection scaling, 200% high, ultra, ultra, high, all the way down. I've literally got everything on the absolute highest setting that it can go. And here I am still getting, you know, an average of probably like 90 FPS when I'm in game. Uh, so that is just incredible. I mean... I can't get over it. It's just this this PC has blown me away in every in every single game so far. But I mean, you know, it's just like I don't know. It's just wild. I'm speechless. Uh and you know, obviously this isn't one of the more demanding games even on the max settings. Um there's certainly some other games that I'm going to show you guys later that are a bit more demanding. Uh and I think actually with that being said, let's go ahead and move on into one of those games. Here we are in the next game, which as you can see is a Seto Corsa. Uh, not actually one of the more demanding games now that I'm thinking about it. Um, at least not this Assetto Corsa. Assetto Corsa Competizione. That one is definitely quite demanding, so that'll be the next one that we do. But I mean, I still wanted to show off this because I've got... I've got mods, all you know, all kinds of different mods in the game. I've got Soul, which is like a, a graphic shader. Um, I mean, a graphic shader, a shader, um, and like weather changing stuff. I, dude, I don't even know what it is because I haven't looked into it since my previous PC couldn't keep up with the best settings of it. Like I still had it activated, but you know, in order to really appreciate it, you've got to like have a good PC you know you gotta be able to to max everything out in order to really enjoy it and now I can and like the game just looks so much better it's obviously still a game from 2014 or whatever it was you know that hasn't really gotten any 
major updates. Um, it essentially is a game that entirely... Oh, I'm crashing. It essentially is a game that ent it relies entirely on mods, and mods can't, you know, completely redo the game, basically. So it's like, you know, it is what it is. But even still, it certainly can be demanding at times. At least it could be for my old PC. And, uh... I mean, now I'm getting, you know, 90 FPS <laughs> in a public server. Oh, crash into the wall again. 90 FPS while I've got everything completely maxed out on a public server. Um, and, I mean, it's just so smooth. It feels so good. I, you know, I just, I, I keep saying the same things over and over again as I crash once again. Uh, I keep saying the same things over and over again, but, like, this PC just continues to blow me away. And it's just so awesome. So, I think uh, that gives you guys a good idea for this game, and uh, let's move on to the next one. So, here we are in ACC, which is almost definitely the most demanding game I have as far as uh, the graphics card goes. Um, I'm going to try BeamNG after this, which is more CPU and memory intensive. Um, but, uh, as you can see in that bottom left corner, I am actually not getting 60 FPS in this game. However... Again, most demanding game I have. I've got two, 19 opponents and then myself, and I'm using a custom livery. Uh, I also am not actually on the racetrack yet, so it's loading in more than you know what I'm actually going to be seeing during the race, I would think. Maybe that'll affect it. I don't know. Um, either way, let's uh, start this race and see what we got here. And yeah, still getting about 45 FPS, so... Not fantastic, but you know, I mean, again, considering everything is on the absolute max that it can be, and I am in the very back of the group, so it's loading in all 20 cars right in front of me. I mean, I'd say this is pretty good, you know? And again, I also am recording as well, so yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty solid. I was able to uh, do the race with the HFG Discord group um, which was like 15 people probably I think we're in that race in total or 13 something like that I was able to get at least 60 FPS for that entire race so that was pretty sweet um, but yeah for this situation it looks like I'm getting right around 45 consistently but it still looks really smooth um, I'm still very happy with it I mean again I before I was playing on literally the lowest graphics settings possible um, and was still experiencing lag um, and I felt like that really affected my ability to race well um, I just I felt like that had a had a part because I mean in this race that we just did the last weekend I only spun out like once and it only cost me like two seconds of time and then the entire rest of the race I did totally fine I did never even really had any other big mistakes so uh, that felt really good, and that definitely makes me happy to know that now that I am on a better PC, I actually seem to be able to do better. Uh, that is certainly exciting. So with that, oh, I was talking instead of focusing on the track, as you can tell. Um, anyways, with that, though, uh, let's move on to probably the last game that we're going to test out today, and that is BeamNG. And here we are in BeamNG. So, on my previous PC, because so far I like to start with how it was on my previous PC, um, I was only able to run three traffic vehicles at most, uh, and even then it kind of lagged, and my graphics settings weren't on the lowest setting, but they were pretty low. Um, I now have them on the max settings, and I am using, I am running nine traffic vehicles. I have manually set it to that. Uh, the game only recommended six, I think. Um, so if you look down in that bottom left corner, I know it's a little hard to see right now, but um, oh, I killed the car. Nice. Oh, shut up. Um, if you look down in that bottom left corner, I'm getting above 30 FPS tip. Nice. Uh, I'm getting an average of probably about 45 FPS. Um, same kind of situation. I could, you know, make it so that I could get 60 over 60 FPS, uh, but I chose to have more traffic vehicles and 
less FPS instead of less traffic vehicles and more FPS. So that being said, let's drive around a little bit. And I mean, you can see it's still pretty smooth. And it, again, you know, I know I've said this with every every time so far, but I am also recording right now. Uh, so that'll draw away from it a little bit. I think typically when I'm not recording and I'm doing this, I'm getting between 50 and 60 FPS pretty consistently. So um, that is pretty cool. And then, oh, this guy's going to cut me off and I'm going to crash into him. Cool. But as you can see, even when I crash into people, my FPS doesn't really drop all that much. I'm still right about 40. So that is pretty cool. And I actually lied. I said this was going to be the last game, but then I remembered that there's one game that I couldn't even play before on my old PC. Uh, like, well, okay. I could play it, but it was like not fun. It just like wasn't good on the on the PC. Uh, I I'm just gonna get to it and then I'll explain more. So, uh, as you can see, that game is Forza Horizon 4. Uh, I've got it on my Xbox. I it was probably one of the first games that I played on the channel. I think I was like my second video. It's still one of my most viewed videos. Somehow, I still am getting like multiple views a, a week on that video when all of my other videos are not getting much um but yeah i in i haven't recorded any since then because uh for those videos i would record my audio on my computer and record the gameplay from my xbox i mainly play forza horizon 4 on my xbox and that is because on my pc the lowest graphic settings i was still getting like 30 fps and it just wasn't fun um so guess what i can play it now 60 fps roughly i think on the best graphic settings so it is going to be back on the channel for sure obviously you know i don't post videos all that often so i'm not going to say like oh it's going to be back at least once a week you know like some people say stuff like that but you know it definitely is going to be thrown into the loop and it's going to be played every now and again and then Forza Horizon 5 is coming out in November, and I definitely am also going to be playing and recording that. So I am super, super excited for that. Uh, and with that being said, I think let's let's do a little bit of driving. Let's see how my driving skills are. Uh, oh, and I also got the e-brake to work with the uh, with Horizon 4, so that's cool. Because um, again, on Xbox you can't you can't do that. You can't have multiple devices. Um, at least not that I know of. Um, and now I can so because I'm on PC so that is pretty cool uh, my skills still aren't the best because it is a lot different from Assetto Corsa and that's what I'm used to at this point um, but I mean so far I'm not doing terrible okay well you know maybe I, I shouldn't have said that because then I did terrible but um, yeah I'm super excited Sorry, had an itch on my leg. Super excited for for this game to be back on the channel. Um, it is going to be a ton of fun, and I hope you guys are looking forward to it too. That being said, I think I am going to wrap up this video here. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, make sure to drop a like and maybe consider subscribing. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.